Hi guys, I'm back. I feel like I was just here. Sorry, I'm, uh, well, Facebook builds my audience. I'm just gonna, just getting settled a little bit. Um, I need to get a, um, like a stand thing for my phone so I can do lives because you should see the ghetto setup that I have going on here. So, there's a couple people on. Yay. Hi, guys. Um, so, I popped on at 9 this morning and did my little one-minute video about my mission and promised I'd be back at 12.15 to do um, a little bit more in-depth um, video explaining a little bit more about my mission and sort of what's been going on the last year. So, um, so yeah, I mean, I posted the other day, if you haven't seen it, I posted a big, huge, long post about, um, and if you're watching, please say hi, because I want to know who's on, um, who can see me. Um, I posted this big, huge, long video, right, um, about, um, this is so funny, we're still spreading the word that you're live. <laughs> Uh, sorry, I posted this big long post about, um, you know, 2016 being this journey for me of figuring out like what I want to do and what I'm good at and what my mission is and what my voice is. And so um, I've really been on the hunt for the, the right words um, to describe the way that I feel. And um, honestly, the thing that kept coming up was cheerleader, 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 cheerleader. And um I fought it because I'm like, cheerleader just sounds like unprofessional. And I'm, I'll say this out loud, like I've said this to a lot of people that it's like, I'm going to go around telling people I'm a professional cheerleader. I don't know. It just felt, felt really weird. Um, and so, but at the heart of all of it, I, you know, I've, I've looked back and I was a cheerleader in high school, so I was actually a legitimate cheerleader and I've always been a listener, and there's been this sort of recurring theme of, hi guys, hi Corey and Melissa, um, this recurring theme of encouraging people and bringing people together and supporting people. Um, and so as I've kind of looked around and looked at all the stuff that I've created this year and all the stuff that... Um, like I'm looking to create and I'm looking to do, um, thanks for the love. Um, there's really this sort of like recurring theme of support and, and love and, um, sisterhood and empowerment. And, um, you know, I've really been on this mission since I had kids to really like welcome the moms into the motherhood, um, the sisterhood of motherhood, I guess you can kind of say, um, and really to make people, make moms especially just feel normal. And, um, like nothing makes me happier than to hear somebody say that they were affected by a talk that I had with them and that they felt encouraged and they felt included and they felt, um, you know, grateful for having me, um, and for, for my time. And so I look around and I look at, um, I created make her day project, which is based on, you know, the foundation of bringing girlfriends together and, um, you know, telling people that you, um, <laughs> yes, Alex, <laughs> keeps popping up. Alex is sending me messages and it keeps popping up. <laughs> it's distracting me. Um, sorry. Um, you know, Make Her Day Project was created on a foundation of bringing girlfriends together and bringing, um, reminding your friends that you miss them and, and life is crazy and hectic. And, and, you know, I found that I've missed my girlfriends and I've missed the femininity in my life. Um, I'm planning an event for April for female entrepreneurs, and that is to, um, you know, to make us all feel normal and to realize that, like, this journey is crazy, and, um, 
you know, whatever the version of normal is, you're normal and and it's normal. And, um, I'm just sort of like on this crusade to just really make people, hi Tiff and Amanda, I saw you popped on too. Um, just make people feel welcome and supported and loved and, you know, parenthood is hard and entrepreneurship is hard and life as a grown up is freaking hard. And, um, I just want to make people feel supported in that. Um, so I've kind of said like with make her day project, I was sort of like, I'm on a mission to close the gap on loneliness and to just create a community and to create a movement and just a place of support and love, um, for the women in my life and for the people in my life. Um, and so, you know, I, I know that not a lot, you know, all my friends are female entrepreneurs, but I would, I would love to hear from you guys. I'd love to hear if I can support you in any way, if I can help you with anything, if I can, if you're having a crappy day as a mom or as a parent and, you know, you feel like, God, I'm, I'm such a bad mom because my kid won't go to sleep and I just gave him Benadryl and and that might've happened a couple of times. You know, you're not the only person out there that has done that. I can 100% guarantee that to you. And my goal is to make you feel and truly understand that you are not the only person that has done that or is going through what you're going through. So please, um, I love to hear from people. I love to connect with you guys. Um, Even if, you know, you're a friend from fifth grade and I haven't talked to you since then, I want to, I want to hear from you and I want to support you and I want you to be a part of my life. Um, and that's really, that's my mission, uh, I guess is to just support people and to make them feel welcome and to cheer you on and to encourage you. And, um, yeah, I, you know, I'd, I would be happy to answer any questions if anybody has them um, or comments. Feel free to leave them after I'm off the live or message me. Like, please feel free to message me at any point. I love Messenger, which I was just telling Alex. <laughs> I love Messenger. It's like the old days of AIM. Um, I miss it. So hi, Joe. Um, yeah, reach out. Even if Even if you, you know, haven't talked to you forever, even if you're a man, I would love to connect. I would love to just know what's going on in your life and support you in any way that I can. Um, And that's my mission, pretty much. So feel free to send questions, messages. Um, I'll be back tomorrow. I have a lot of really good ideas to talk about. I'm going to talk for at least 30 days of... um, the lessons that I kind of learned in the last, um, (laughs) does this include your famous blueberry cocktail you used to make me in college? Oh my God. I haven't had one of those in so long. Um, (laughs) yes, yes. Um, yeah, I, I just want to kind of share the stuff that I've gone through, the lessons I've learned. I've learned a lot of really cool lessons in the last year and I, I'm going to pop on at nine and do one minute videos to give you a little overview of what it is. And then hopefully, um, around between 1130 and 1230 every day, I'll pop on and do a little five to 10 minute video, um, further explaining, uh, what it was that I talked about that morning. Um, I have a lot of good ideas. I have a lot of, um, a lot of stuff to share, a lot of really cool lessons. And I hope that, um, I can inspire somebody with some of those messages. So please send me your questions. Tell me anything you want me to talk about. I'd be happy to have some content to talk about on these lives, but you're going to see a lot more of me. So that said, um, thanks Tiff. I really appreciate that. Um, I miss you. Um, yeah, just, you know, keep in touch, send me, um, you know, topics you want to hear about anything. Honestly, I'm open to it. So, Um, You'll see a lot more of me on video. I appreciate you listening to me ramble. Um, This is like my fifth live ever. Um, Yeah. So um, I'll talk to you guys soon, okay?